Right, quick video today, all about Ineos did a 15 minute power test. I don't really know why they do 15 minutes. Kofidis did 12 minutes this week. They used to do 20 minutes. I reckon all these sports scientists are cooked and want to try and come up with a new duration to test people for. So anyway, what they did before was like 15 minutes surges. Bernal did these ones. Connor Swift did 10 minutes of like uh, with some 40-20s. I think they were all 30-15s. Uh, and then Kwiatkowski did the classic Ineos. It's like 10 minutes, it's, well, it looks like 5 minutes, I think, and then a sprint either side of it, then all like 10-second sprints. But anyway, it kind of doesn't matter too much what they did. They ordered basically this warm-up, and they ordered a 15-minute max test. Now, obviously, all of you straight away are going to say, I don't believe any of these numbers because they're from a Shimano power meter. Well, obviously, if you think that way, then this video probably isn't for you. Um, but one thing you can look at is VAM and times. So this is a segment, it's... It's obviously hard to get a 15 minute thing, but this is like a good proportion of it. And you can see like Tim and Arisman was faster on this part. Arisman and Bernal were going pretty well. You can see Oscar Rodriguez, not bad. Brandon Rivera, Connor Swift. Ghana must be doing a lot of watts to keep up with these boys. Connor Swift's doing 4, 480. Um, and then you can see like Kim Heider significantly slower. Um, and then I think that's more or less Lawrence Plus as well. He must have, I don't know what happened to him. Maybe he didn't start his effort then, but... You can kind of see roughly like where these guys are. Hater as well, like climbing okay, not not crazy. But yeah, we'll, we'll go have a look at the numbers. So for Bernal, he did some of the best numbers I think I've ever seen him do. 390 watts. You can see like this last bit here. Um, he held quite a lot in the tank, so he's doing more like 400 for the last five minutes. Um, again, Hay is, is 1,700 VAM. Like for sure, he's going quick on 7%. Um, like 24 average on 7% is really, really impressive. Uh, you know, he people claim he's about... 58 kilos so 390 would be um just like 6.8 6.9 watts per kilo um sorry not 6.7 uh but yeah like pretty impressive numbers to be honest for 15 minutes um goes to show he's definitely getting back in form um and like i said like the beginning bit he kind of went a little bit under and then the first six and then the last bit he absolutely went to you can see at the end he's really pressing on 411 watts going really really quick so he looks in good condition um then we've got uh, Connor Swift, who did the biggest watts on Strava, 482 watts, which is kind of what I expect probably um, him to do. You know, you think about it, it's like, what's he doing for 20? Probably like 470. Like, he's really, really strong. He's pretty heavy. Again, maybe they did told them to try and ramp it because you can see the pacing here is going five minutes. Uh, well, five minutes, four minutes here, 517. Um, and you can see he did five minutes at like 511 watts. How heavy is he? Probably like 75-ish, 72. It's really hard to tell. Like, bigger guys, it's kind of like they can vary a lot. Obviously, there's a weight on the internet, but it's not always accurate. So, again, interesting to see. Um, I guess the other thing is kind of like how hard was the ride before. Um, so, for him, 270 normalized, that's pretty chill. You can see he's only really done that one effort. Um, I think this one was, was ridden pretty relaxed. Yeah, like 320 watts, which is not, again, not that hard for him. Uh, you just have to like realize unless they're kind of doing 400 is it's really not that difficult especially for that small duration um in terms of kilojoules 1700 kilojoules that's like really not very much he's basically just had a nice warm-up um and then yeah got got amongst it so last one we're gonna do well couple so there's uh team and aronsman here again 1636 van pretty impressive again last bit you can see like burnout pretty good 1700 van so again like impressive numbers um, and then Mihal Kwiatkowski as well, 432 watts. He's like 68 kilos, so again, just over 6 watts per kilo for 15 minutes. So pretty, well, 6.2 or so, so pretty impressive. Um, and again, like, he looks pretty strong. Did he negatively split it? Yes, 5 minutes, 447, as we can see over here. So maybe that was the way they told him to do it, was just hold a little bit back um, and then go thermo at the end but you can see he's climbing like a lot slower this five, last five minutes he's only doing 1564 van like 23k an hour so it is um you know you can actually see the climbing speeds are like pretty different here um and i guess the other point is like none of these guys are real pure sprinters either like you've also got real climbers but none of these people are like mega mega heavy just pure sprinters uh but yeah what can you gain from this People in pretty good condition in winter, I would say, is the biggest thing to gain from it. Like, they're doing pretty good numbers in winter. Um, they're not too heavy either because, like, the VAM, VAMs are pretty decent as well for the Wasp Kilo. So, like, I guess, yeah, the point is that they're in good condition would be the main one. Uh, big guys do big watts, 480. 
and even climbers doing at least 380 watts, which is pretty impressive. Um, but anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoy this quick video, and I'll see you in the next one.